All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a review of this Zupip file cabinet. It's like a portable file cabinet that you're looking at right here. So just so you know, Zupip sent this to me to go ahead and do a review. So I'm not being uh, paid for this review, but I am being asked uh, to just give my thoughts and opinions on this so I can help you make the best possible purchasing decisions. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna point the camera down and we're gonna uh, look at the features of this particular uh, file cabinet. Um, like I said, it is a portable one with some handles on it. So um, if I go ahead and I grab the handle here, you can see that, um, yeah, there you go, it's a handle. So let's point the camera down and uh, kind of give you uh, just an overview of what you're looking at right here, okay? All right, forgive me, I'm just trying to do my best here to give you the best uh, view of what this uh, looks like. So uh, this is a double layer uh, file cabinet, which you're looking at right here. So um, it is a fireproof, so that's kind of cool. And just kind of looking at the outside of it here, we got these reflective tags right here, and then it does have some pockets right here to where you can put some storage in there. And that's gonna be uh, for both sides. Oops, I guess you can't really see that, but if I flip it around, uh, if I flip it around, there you can see both sides. And you got some pockets right there too. So um, it does have two layers, like I said before. And if I were go ahead and to bring this over and bring this zip, uh, zipper to the front. The zippers, um, they can be locked into right here. There is an actual uh, lock with a combination on it. So it's a three digit combination. It does come with some instructions on how to uh, lock this and unlock this. But basically what you're doing is you're just putting the holes of the zippers inside and it will lock it. I've done another video of a Zupit product like this before. And it's very similar, very same thing. All right. So let's look at the first layer. So we're going to go ahead and unzip this and show you what the inside looks like. Now, uh, when you get this uh, and it comes, uh, you know, in packaging, you're gonna it's gonna come with uh, things disassembled. So this is gonna come with it, and this actually goes on the top right here uh, to create kind of like you know a layer that uh, you know you could put books right here, uh, you could put uh, you know I don't know documents, CDs, things like that. But I think if you look right here in this area, you can see there's all these compartments, um, all these different layers and compartments to where you could put passports, you could put business cards up in here, um, you know, business cards, you could put like CDs, calculators. Um, it does have more storage right here to where maybe you need to put uh, money, petty cash. I don't know what it would be. So this is a great area where you could like keep a lot of the, um, you know, the things that, you know, maybe you need to travel a lot with files. This might be the uh, file cabinet for you. Uh, so again, like I said, you could put books in here or whatever. So that's layer number one. And then let's go ahead and look at layer number two. And layer number two is basically a file cabinet. And um, that is where it's going to have, um, you know, legal sized, uh, a legal, legal sized space. So this is what it is. So here I have normal uh, letter uh, file folders right here that go in like this. So you could put them in like this. And then uh, going this way, I'm not sure if you can kind of see, but going this way, this is where you could put legal sized file folders or files. Um, it is gonna come with, um, you know, the bottoms to where it's gonna protect the actual, um, you know, the actual file cabinet itself. So these cardboard bottoms go into the bottom and you just fit them in. And then of course that will protect the actual file cabinet itself. Uh, so yeah, this does not come with file folders, just so you know, um, but I just found some and I went and decided to go ahead and use this. So that you could go ahead and get an idea of what it is. There are no pockets on the inside, uh, but it is durable, uh, you know, and uh, it, it allows you to go ahead and lock it up. I think that's kind of the most important thing here. The cool feature is that you have two different locks. You have a lock for the top layer, and then of course you have a lock for the bottom layer too. So uh, like I said, in fact, I've got the instructions right here. The instructions are right here. They will tell you how to, uh, to lock this with the combination itself. So they're both three digits. Probably best to have like a couple dig different digits for that, but yeah, that's pretty easy. And then of course you put you can put a business card right here so that you can identify the file cabinet as yourself. So um, you know, and again, like one of the features that you could do is like if you got a flashlight, this is I mean, I mean you can kind of see it inside the camera itself right now. Um, the way I'm looking at it, at it in the angle that I'm looking at it, this is gray, but on here it's white, so it's, it is reflective. So that's kind of a cool feature on here. But like I said, fireproof. This is very good to have for someone who is traveling and maybe you're, I don't know, maybe you're a traveling lawyer, maybe you're a traveling marketing manager, maybe you're, I don't know what you would do uh, or what you would need this for, but this is actually really good that I can actually, you know, maybe you're, maybe you're a, a tax specialist and this is what you need to, uh, you know, bring your tax uh, stuff. So I don't know, but this is, uh, this is going to come in really handy for me uh, because I do uh, need an extra file cabinet for 
all my other um, my paperwork for my businesses and of course uh, you know my taxes maybe so this will be really helpful so uh, I hope this helps out